Okay, what keeps you motivated? It's Make Happy Motivation. It's Saturday, the 17th of March, 2018. And I'm just going to do a quick, short video, you know, with the enlightenment with everything that's happened in the last week with our young people within North London. You know, one being a fatality and hopefully the other one not being a fatality. You know, but at the end of the day, life-changing injuries. But I want to say right now, what keeps you motivated? A lot of people ask me, what keeps you motivated? When I told them I've done over 300 videos, I ain't even really counting them. It's roughly about 300 videos. It could be even more. But at the end of the day, what keeps me motivated? My family, first of all, and foremost, keeps me motivated. Just watching my daughter growing up, seeing her growing up, you know, it makes me motivated to know that I want to do more. And for those of you that are out there, and you don't know what you're doing in life and you're just moving from left to right, but you really ain't getting forward, you ain't going forward, you ain't making much movement. Motivation is so needed. You've got young kids at the age of, what, nine? Younger than that motivating the, the, the world, you know? And because they're so small and they're talking about these big words and talking about stuff that motivate you and they ain't even done much in their life, they ain't even much as of yet. Come on now, regardless of if they've sold a book. They still ain't even live life yet and they're motivating you. What I want to say right now, I didn't choose this life. This life chose me and it's a positive. So why don't you brace it? Embrace the positivity and understand that you watch the motivational videos. You're listening to your motivational podcast. You watch your motivational videos, inspiration. You motivate yourself in so many different ways and inspire and empower yourself and keep yourself moving and keep yourself alive. Enjoying the life that you have because there's so much to give. You've got so much in you. You're still here. So why don't you get off from your depression? Get off from your illnesses and get up. Listen now. You can be the person to make the change. In fact, scrap that. You're the only person that can change your life. No one else can. So until you decide and you open up your arms and you say, yes, I want to take change my life for the better and for the good and be more, do more, be more, then nothing else will happen for you. Everything will be just like on slow motion. But until you decide to take the reins and really get on board and switch from first to second gear and get in that cockpit and drive that car down that track, even if you swerve off the track, you get back on the track and you keep on going and you know that you know, you know this is where you want to be. And you don't want to be in an environment that you're in. You've got to keep on moving. You've got to keep on pushing. you just got to keep on doing whatever you have to do and be as healthy as possible. Trust me on this one now. It's not easy. It's never going to be easy. But you've got to get involved. You've got to get on board. You've got to do what you have to do to get by and to make your life a better life for you, your family, your friends, and with, for your community. Because you know what? It's a hard life if we allow it to be a hard life. But if you want to have a good life and an easy life, do the hard work now and have an easy life later. Don't have an easy life now and then struggle later because at the end of the day, we're all going to come to a slow pulsing age, you know, age and that. But you know, but at the same time, if you live your life a good life and you eat healthy and you take care of yourself, you could still be active at 90. Yeah, so don't get it twisted. Don't wash away your life by drinking alcohol and all of that. Get involved in involved in building yourself up from the inside out. It's all good having a healthy mind, but if you don't have a healthy body, what use is that? Yeah? So remember that right now and continue to make a habit out of your great habits and knock out the bad habits one by one and stay positive, productive, and patient and believe, vision, achieve. Remember to be, yeah? Just remember to be. And you know what? Let me rewind that back. Continue to make a habit out of your great habits and knock out the bad habits out knock, knock, knock out the bad habits one by one, stay positive, productive and patient and believe is an achievement Remember to be consistent, committed and confident and make a habit in God and get involved, make sure you go to our GoFundMe page, gofundme.com, make a habit and get involved and donate to the, don't let the streets control you. So many young people dying and losing their life and they're not getting to live their life and we want to make this change now. We're embracing every single thing that's going on within the communities that we go into and we want everyone else to doing great projects to remember that when you go into someone's community that you embrace what's going on already within the community and let everyone know. Yeah? Let's get involved, get moving, make a habit, hashtag make a habit challenge and just keep it moving. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow, Sunday, yeah? Sunday. Because what? Really? 16, 17, 18? The month's soon done. Hey, thank you for watching.